space, that vast realm full of more mysteries than certainties, constantly taunting those researchers who peer through telescope lenses at the immeasurable emptiness that lies beyond our atmosphere. Although new discoveries are constantly being made thanks to the constantly improving technology that we have at our disposal, these discoveries do not always provide us with exact answers about space. In fact, frequently a new discovery means uncovering even more mysterious and unanswerable questions. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at interesting space discoveries. Astronomers discover massive radio galaxy 100 times larger than the Milky Way. Space is massive. Recently, astronomers uncovered a radio galaxy so colossal it overshadows our own Milky Way by a shocking 100 times in size. Alcinius is the name given to the galaxy in question. It lies an estimated 3 billion light years away from Earth. The galaxy has gained its name from the Greek figure Alcyonius, who was the son of the Hellenic primordial sky god Uranus. The Leiden University of the Netherlands claims that the discovery was a stroke of luck, as numerous discoveries tend to be. More often than not, the greatest discoveries are made when we are not even searching for them. Alcyonius is what is referred to as a radio galaxy. This means that there exists a huge black hole within the very center of it that emits two rays of pure radio wave energy out of its core, known within scientific circles as an active galactic nucleus. This active galactic nucleus is formed when the black hole consumes matter around it. With the usage of the European Wide Web of Low Frequency Array Telescopes, known more commonly as LOFAR, scientists were able to discover two immense rays of pure plasma erupting from what appeared to them to be a typical supermassive black hole. It was not until they researched further that they found that these streams of radio energy were up to 16 million light years in length, if not longer. In comparative terms, this is the equivalent of a hundred Milky Ways put together. But even that is lesser than the true extent of these plasma jets. The official scientific statement calls it one of the largest galactic structures found in the cosmos so far. One of the materials which erupted from these plasma streams are materials used in the formation of new stars. Because of its intense speed that nearly challenges the speed of light, the star-building chemical is under immense heat pressure which causes it to dissolve into plasma, which is what we see with radio light. This plasma radiates a glare that is visible to the LOFAR detectors. The reasoning behind why astronomers were not able to detect this galaxy until now is because the plasma jets are difficult to see. As they say, it was a lucky discovery. This, of course, is not the only radio jet ever discovered. It is certainly one of the largest, but others have been found in the past, even in our very own galaxy. The true mystery lies in how Alcyonius grew into its size and structure. The first theory was that it was a result of the supermassive black hole or an extreme concentration of stardust in the galaxy. Even the plasma jets themselves could have increased the size of the galaxy, and yet, in its fellow radio galaxies, these factors are common and do not add to their sizes. Alcyonius is an utterly interesting discovery to have been made as it could very well reshape our fundamental understanding of the cosmos in which we thrive. It might also help us understand the theory of the cosmic web wherein galaxies are interconnected yet separated by gaps of nothingness. Scientists are planning on focusing further research into Alcyonius and to try and track down the origin of its incredible size and how it was formed. First ever documented tectonic activity on exoplanet. Exoplanets are extremely hard to see. Hidden by a bright light that glares from the stars they orbit, exoplanets are basically classified as anything that orbits a larger star like Earth. In a new report submitted by the University of Bern, scientists found that the night side of an exoplanet called LHS 3844b is tectonically active. This exoplanet, which orbits the red dwarf star LHS 3844, was detected by the Transiting Exoplanet Survey satellite. Though its surface is comparable to that of Mercury, it is larger than Earth and orbits its parent star in 11 hours. Tobias Meyer, 
an astronomer of the university, mentioned the huge variance of temperatures. We thought that such a large temperature difference could affect the flow of matter inside the planet. The temperatures being referenced to are degrees upwards of 800 degrees Celsius on the sun's side and below minus 25 Celsius on the night side. Similar to the activity seen in Hawaii and Iceland's volcanic areas, researchers witnessed the swelling of material on one side of the planet. They determined this swelling could cause activity across the hemisphere. While they believe that one side of this exoplanet has a great deal of volcanic activity, the other side of the mysterious planet seems to have none at all. This type of tectonic activity documentation, however, is a first. Until now, we have only seen volcanoes of this nature grow in areas on Earth. How many more tectonically active stars and planets could be in our atmosphere? We are excited to keep following along and find out. A fast radio burst was detected from our galaxy for the first time. Fast radio bursts, also known as FRBs, are rare flashes of bright light that appear only for a few milliseconds and have puzzled scientists for years. They are intense pulses of radio waves that release tons of energy. They release more power in just a few milliseconds than the sun does in an entire century. The first recorded instance of an FRB sighting was in 2007, but it was not until 2018 that a telescope was set up to track them precisely. These odd flashes of light register on the radio band of the electromagnetic spectrum for a fraction of a second. There is no known origin or explanation for where or when they appear, which means you have to be lucky and point your radio dish in hopefully the right direction to capture one. The leading theories of FRBs are that they originate from magnetars, a type of neutron star that died in supernova explosions. Magnetars are considered the most powerful magnets in our universe and have been known to erupt into giant flares and produce X-rays and gamma rays, implying they could also create FRBs. Throughout the years, scientists have been able to identify nearly 150 various flashes within our universe. Within the past two years, though, that number has almost quadrupled with the success of a large stationary radio telescope set up in British Columbia. The CHIME telescope, short for the Canadian Hydrogen Intensity Mapping Experiment, was first set up in 2018 to observe and catalogue potential FRBs. In just its first year, CHIME detected 535 new fast radio bursts and provided detailed insight into their properties, which researchers are using to pinpoint their origins. In late April 2020, the CHIME telescope and the Survey for Transient Astronomical Radio Emission 2, or STAIR-2, antennas in California and Utah detected a new fast radio burst. This burst, named FRB 200428, is the brightest burst that researchers have ever seen in our own galaxy. They explained that it was about 3,000 times more brilliant than any other signal they have catalogued and that if you possessed the recording of raw data from your phone's 4G LTE receiver, you could potentially have seen the radio signal on your phone. FRB 200428 was also the first burst to be traced to a magnetar, thus confirming the researcher's leading theory. It also was accompanied by X-rays a day later, another first. Multiple space telescopes around the world detected these X-ray bursts, all originating from the exact location and at the same time. This fast radio burst occurred in Volpecula, a constellation set in our galaxy's centre, about 30,000 light-years from Earth. Although this observation strengthens the magnetar theory with the accompaniment of X-ray emissions, scientists are still unaware of how exactly these bursts form or how they behave. Researchers are now intrigued with the possibility of directional bursts pointed away from the Earth, which would be undetectable to us and our telescopes. They will continue to monitor the sky and hopefully find further information to solve this mystery. Astronomers reveal secrets of the most distant supernova ever detected. 
a team of multinational astronomers assembled by the University of Southampton announced their discovery of an extraordinary supernova, and not just any supernova, but the most distant one we have ever witnessed, giving us a window into 10.5 billion years ago at the infancy of our universe. The star in question, titled DES-16C2NM, was found using the DES Dark Energy Survey during a universal collaboration to map the cosmos and the millions of galaxies we know of, in the hope of finding out more about dark matter and energy thought to be behind the universe's endless expansion. The study was published in the Astrophysical Journal and showcases that this supernova, since the light from the supernova took 10.5 billion years to travel to us, is the oldest and furthest one we have ever seen. It's absolutely primordial. Supernovae are eruptions of colossal stars that occur when they use up all their natural fuel and end in a glorious burst of light and energy. DES-16C2NM was categorized as a superluminous supernova, which are the brightest and the most difficult type of supernova to find in space. The first superluminous supernova was only found a decade ago, and there is still much we do not know about them. It's thought these are caused when a dense neutron star rotates at immense speeds in the explosion of a star at the end of its life. Dr. Matthew Smith of the University of Southampton states, it's thrilling to be part of the survey that has discovered the oldest known supernova. DES-16C2NM is extremely distant, extremely bright, and extremely rare, not the sort of thing you stumble across every day as an astronomer. The ultraviolet light from SLSN informs us of the amount of metal produced in the explosion and the temperature of the explosion itself, both of which are key to understanding what causes and drives these cosmic explosions. Because of its distance from Earth, this allows scientists a deeper insight into the nature of superluminous supernovae themselves, as well as how they are formed and whether currently existing theories are correct. Professor Mark Sullivan, Dr. Smith's co-worker claims, finding more distant events to determine the variety and sheer number of these events is the next step. Now we know how to find these objects at greater distances, we are actively looking for more of them as part of the Dark Energy Survey. DES-16C2NM was found back in August of 2016 and had the VLT, Magellan and Keck Observatory all hyper-focused on researching it. These three observatories are known to be the most powerful ones on Earth. Professor Bob Nickel of the University of Portsmouth said about the matter, such supernovae were not thought of when we started DES over a decade ago. Such discoveries show the importance of empirical science. Sometimes you just have to go out and look up to find something amazing. Since the beginning of the Dark Energy Survey in 2013, over 25 international institutions have got involved, and the project is a collaboration of over 400 individual scientists. Astronomers discover hidden trove of massive black holes. Sometimes we can look at something time and time again, still never noticing every detail. Whether it is a missed clue in your favorite film or a seemingly new brushstroke in a painting, this is something each one of us has experienced. Well, it appears that the scientific world is no exception. A research team led by those at the University of North Carolina has uncovered a whole host of massive black holes in dwarf galaxies, despite us looking in the areas previously. These massive black holes have been looked past over and over, but now that we know that they are there, they could have a huge potential to help us figure out the details behind the supermassive black hole in the center of the Milky Way. Our galaxy takes the form of a giant spiral, meaning, as our current understanding has us believe, it's made up of lots of small dwarf galaxies and they're merging together. One example of this is the Magellanic Clouds. These clouds are irregular galaxies that appear as an illuminated patch in the sky. They are seen in the south and they are understood to be dwarf galaxies that will eventually become part of the Milky Way. When a new dwarf galaxy enters our galaxy, there is the potential that it brings along with it a massive black hole at its center. It's currently thought that an inevitable question of when, rather than if, this massive black hole will be absorbed by the supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way. 
While we acknowledge that this is a possibility, in reality, we do not know how often dwarf galaxies contain massive black holes. This is a glaring gap in our current knowledge, as we know very little about how black holes and galaxies grow, develop, and interact with one another. This new research, published in the Astrophysical Journal, helps us to connect the dots as we uncover the black holes we simply had not seen before. Lead author of the study, Mungta Polymera, said, This result really blew my mind because these black holes were previously hiding in plain sight. It can be a fairly difficult process to detect black holes, evidenced by us repeatedly glossing over them. Usually, we can find them when they take in gas, as this results in them growing and makes them glow. Professor Sheila Kanapan, the co-author of the study, likened black holes to fireflies, in that we can only see them when they are lit up. So, if the black holes are not actively growing, then we do not know how many are truly there. Adding to this confusion is that the high-energy radiation characteristic of growing black holes is not exclusively a feature of them alone. New stars can be seen to have the same high-energy radiation. The research team realized that they could test where these signals were coming from, with a different number of tests allowing us to conclude if it is a young star being formed or a black hole growing that is being observed. So far, this research seems very promising, with a new acknowledgement that there is sometimes more to the picture than what we can see. The theories we currently hold are growing and expanding in size, allowing us to deepen our understanding and more research will eventually be conducted, hopefully providing further evidence towards what we think we already know. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.